Three groundbreaking AI tools, one seismic shift that's rewriting the future of tech, Mistral just flipped the entire artificial intelligence industry upside down, and the giants, OpenAI and Google, are officially on notice. The release of their newest flagship model, Mistral Medium 3, has sent shockwaves through the AI world by offering frontier-level performance at a fraction of the cost. If you thought the AI race was dominated by Silicon Valley, think again. In this video, we're breaking down everything you need to know about Mistral's new model, why it matters, and how this might just be the beginning of a serious power shift in the AI ecosystem. What is Mistral AI? Let's begin with the basics. Mistral is a French AI startup founded in 2023 by a team of highly respected researchers who previously worked at Google DeepMind and Meta AI. In under two years, they've gained an international reputation for building powerful open source AI models that rival the best in the business. Many in the tech community hailed them as the future of open AI development. Thanks to their transparent approach and robust engineering, their early models like Mistral, 7B, and Mixtral were adopted rapidly by developers, researchers, and organizations worldwide. But now, Mistral has taken a different route. They've entered the world of proprietary AI, and they're making a lot of noise. Mistral Medium 3 Overview the model they just launched is called Mistral Medium 3, and it's their most powerful proprietary model to date. Unlike their earlier open source releases, this one is built specifically for enterprise level use cases. And here's the jaw dropper. It performs at the level of top tier models like Claude 3.7 Sonnet, Gemini, 2.0 Flash, and Meta's Llama for Maverick, but at a significantly lower operational cost. We're talking about a pricing model that undercuts nearly every major player in the game while still delivering premium performance. At only 40 cents per million input tokens and $2 per million output tokens, it sets a new standard for affordability in enterprise AI. That's not just marginally cheaper, it's a dramatic shift in the economics of running high performance models at scale. Independent evaluations by AI research groups such as Artificial Analysis confirm that Mistral Medium 3 ranks among the best non-reasoning models currently available. What's even more impressive is that in several professional domains, especially coding, it outperforms its more expensive rivals. This isn't just marketing fluff, the performance is being observed and validated across multiple benchmarks. What makes it exceptional? What makes Mistral Medium 3 stand out isn't just the price, it's the blend of efficiency, speed, and specialization. Sophia Young, a representative from Mistral stated that the model truly excels in the coding domain and has consistently outperformed some of the much larger models in practical programming tasks. That includes better output quality, faster response times, and more accurate reasoning in context-heavy scenarios. It's designed with a 128,000 token context window, which makes it ideal for handling large documents, analyzing long sequences of data, and maintaining coherent conversations over extended interactions. That's especially useful in customer service, data analysis, and complex workflow integrations. Multimodality is another standout feature. Mistral Medium 3 can handle visual inputs along with text and supports operations across 40 different languages, making it suitable for global deployment. For businesses operating in multiple countries or handling multilingual customer bases, this feature alone puts it ahead of many current mainstream models. Simply put, Mistral Medium 3 isn't just a new player, it's a serious contender for the enterprise AI crown. Real world applications and deployment. The model is already being used by beta customers across a range of industries, including finance, healthcare, and energy. These organizations are leveraging Medium 3 to automate customer service, streamline complex business processes, and perform deep analysis on large data sets. According to Mistral, it's built specifically for integration into existing corporate knowledge systems and supports both continuous retraining and full fine tuning. That means enterprises can mold the model to fit their own domain specific needs, whether it's analyzing investment portfolios, interpreting medical records, or managing real-time logistics data. Availability is another key factor. Mistral Medium 3 is already live on Mistral's proprietary platform, La Platform, and also on Amazon SageMaker. Very soon, it will be integrated into IBM Watson X, Google Cloud Vertex AI, Microsoft Azure AI Foundry, and NVIDIA's NIM. This level of cloud flexibility ensures that businesses of all sizes and sectors can adopt Medium 3 without having to overhaul their current infrastructure. The shift from open source this release, however, marks a clear departure from Mistral's open source beginnings. 
Unlike their earlier models, Mistral Medium 3 is closed source. You can't modify it, you can't host it locally, and you won't be able to access its internal weights. That's a big change and some open source advocates see this as a step backward. But Mistral hasn't completely turned its back on the open source community. Their open weight model, Mistral 8x22, BV 0.3 remains one of the most powerful publicly available models in the world. It uses a mixture of experts architecture, where 8 experts of 22 billion parameters each are used selectively during inference. It's efficient, adaptable, and still entirely open. So while Mistral is clearly betting big on proprietary tools for business clients, they're still supporting the broader AI community with a diverse portfolio of open models. It's a balancing act, but one that allows them to innovate rapidly without completely abandoning their foundational values. How this affects OpenAI and Google Now comes the big question. How does this affect OpenAI, Google, and the rest of the big tech AI ecosystem? It sends a very clear message. You don't need to be the biggest to be the best. Mistral is showing that focused innovation, cost efficiency, and performance optimization can rival even the most hyped models. Mistral Medium 3 is particularly interesting because it hallucinates significantly less than many competitors. A huge issue in current generation LLMs. The only model that currently scores better on hallucination control is Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro. But the cost and infrastructure needs of Gemini are far more demanding. What gives Mistral a major edge is its decision to operate its own compute infrastructure. They're not relying on American cloud providers, which makes them more appealing to European enterprises and governments who are becoming increasingly cautious about data sovereignty and digital independence. In fact, Mistral's CEO, Arthur Mensch, told Reuters that the company has tripled its business in just the last 100 days, especially in Europe and non-US markets. That kind of growth indicates that companies are actively looking for alternatives to OpenAI and Google, and Mistral is stepping up to meet that demand. What's next from Mistral? What's more exciting is that Mistral isn't done yet. Earlier this year, they launched Mistral Small. Now, with the release of Mistral Medium 3, the naming convention itself gives away the next step. A large model is clearly on the horizon. Sophia Yang hinted at it during the announcement, saying it's no secret that something big is coming. And based on how well the medium-sized model performs, we can only imagine what their large model will bring to the table. If it delivers even a portion of the cost performance balance we're seeing now, it could directly challenge GPT-4, Claude 3 Opus, and even Gemini's premium offerings. So now it's over to you. What do you think about Mistral's latest release? Do you believe Medium 3 is a real threat to OpenAI and Google, or is it too early to tell? Would you be more inclined to use a closed source model if it delivered enterprise grade performance at a fraction of the price? Are we witnessing the rise of a new AI superpower in Europe, or is this just a temporary disruption? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I read every single one and I'd love to hear your perspective. If you found this breakdown helpful and want more updates like this, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.